last time you were a gutsy woman? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I think we all have to be gutsy every day. Running for president was a gutsy thing to do, but that's not as difficult as facing serious illnesses or death or uh, all kinds of other problems that people face. I try to be gutsy every day, but I know that uh, there are a lot of people doing even more than I am. I thought she was really warm and very accessible. You hear things about her, oh, she's, she could be inauthentic or this, and she was a completely wonderful, normal human being. I was looking forward to talking uh, with Nanette because I really found myself in great rapport with her. We had originally thought about doing a campaign uh, film and then she came back and said, you know, your story is part of a much larger story about women and everything that's going on. And I just was really, um, you know, very comfortable. Just go uh, as hard as you can about all of the broken promises that he made, uh, that people believed, uh, starting with uh, the Mexicans will pay for the wall, and keep pointing out that even uh, if you agree with him on some things, his overall presidency is really bad for our country and the world. All of my films, fortunately, have affected me personally because I've just learned so much from them. This film was incredible because I'm a political junkie and I also care deeply about women's roles in society over the last 50 years and so to be able to combine all of those interests and really kind of unpack a very, very complicated historical figure like Hillary Clinton was, was a, a great opportunity for me. Well, the worst misconception they have about her is that she uh, has, you know, killed people and robbed people and, and done horrendous, I mean, the conspiracy theories are vast. I was on a plane that almost went down. I was like, I'm sure there'll be some conspiracy theory that <laughs> Hillary Clinton had something to do with it. Because it, it's crazy what people think about her. And they really believe it uh, online. I don't get a lot of advice from people because I kind of surround myself with people that I sort of know what they think. So I've had tremendous friends over the course of my life uh, who have been, you know, really good advisors. Um, you know, I was told, to, you know, don't become, you know, President Obama's Secretary of State, stay in the Senate. And, you know, there's an argument made for that, but it turns out I made the right decision.